that's short term. I mean, that's next seven days or so. That's the next two weeks. Like the next two weeks. Okay. What is the one coin that you would buy right now, Ran? One coin, well, I'm looking at infrastructure, and I'm looking at the infrastructure or the blockchain plays, the protocols, and they seem to be... He's an idiot. You should be buying Tron. Just put all your money into Tron. YOLO Tron. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. You're really undervalued, and that's the base layer of this whole blockchain. So it's a toss-up for me between two coins. The one coin is NEO, which is the Chinese blockchain or the Chinese version of Ethereum, and the other coin for me is Cardano or ADA, which is uh, it's a, a protocol level, it's a protocol, a blockchain protocol, which I think is highly undervalued. All right, Rand, great to see you. Thanks for. Oh man, guys, uh, I need to go increase my position. So I'm not doing that. I have been just buying a lot of Ethereum and Bitcoin. I'm going to have to make some changes, so I will probably go into my Binance and KuCoin and Bittrex accounts and start to pick up some of these altcoins. I, ha I have, and I've just been only buying Bitcoin because, like I said, everything's correlated right now. So buying Bitcoin and Ethereum is fine, but he does make a good point. If you don't know much about Cardano, you don't mo know much about NEO, I always have been preaching diversification, so obviously you should own a little bit of both. But at the same time, um, for now, because it's just easier for me to put limit orders on uh, Coinbase and Gemini, I've, I haven't made the switch. And to be honest, I actually don't have a balanced portfolio. I'm very heavy on Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. And by the way, Litecoin's getting killed. So I am definitely going to do a rebalancing pretty soon because even though th there could be another bull market, um, I don't want to have it where I'm just highly invested on only coin, Coinbase coins. So I will definitely be buying some NEO, some Cardano, but um, I, I recommend having a little bit of all the top 10, if not all top 20 coins. So um, I'm just going to do a little blanket effect. But at the same time, I'm still staying about 60%, 50-50 Bitcoin, Ethereum, and then the 40% will go to all the other altcoins. But let me know what you guys are doing, and I will talk to you guys soon.